So I'm curious to know if you were in a position where your family supported you or not. Yeah, you know, that that's quite a nuanced story for me. I'm as well from a working class uh, uh, environment. And I do notice that actually nowadays, a lot of artists, especially young artists, there's not many people that are from a working class. And I, I really, that, that pains me. You know, I think there's there's a lot of work to be done there, to be honest. I, I really think that uh, if we're talking about change, that is very, very often, class is very, very often uh, a very underestimated uh, emancipational uh, process. Anyway, that being said, I'm from a working class uh, family and uh, that also has its advantages because that keeps you very grounded and uh keeps you, when I say you, I mean me, of course, uh, very, very real in a certain kind of way, you know, like I also like to simplify uh, sometimes things, not to make it simple tongue, but just like, for instance, all the phrasing and all the words in the arts, I, I really saw that changing. I'm like, ugh, you know, like, seriously, why, why would you say things so complicated when you can interchange them by very simple wording that also can be very beautiful, by the way. Anyway, that's being said, going back to your question, sorry about that, eh? but you know me, I'm a tree <laughs> with many branches and you really have to get me. Okay, Jackie, the question, and I will fully totally appreciate that. But like my, my parents loved art. But like my father was a member of a book club because that allowed him to buy a book for a reasonable price every month. And he was very, very proud to, to build a library, you know. And my parents took me to uh, Walt Disney movies. My parents took me to the museum from time to time. But that didn't really meant that they wanted me to become an artist because that is very uncertain. And especially for that time frame, I'm from 58. My parents were growing up during the Second World War. My grandparents were struggling uh, with shitty jobs. I'm sorry to say, you know, like really shitty jobs, you know, like uh, in the harbor of Rotterdam, you know, like carrying bags of grain eight hours a day. That's a shitty job, an underpaid, yeah. you know? So they yeah. came from crisis. So they had in mind, I would study and then ideally is something like history or something like that and then become a teacher. And that was artistic enough. So no, they weren't happy. No, they weren't. And, and my grandmother from my dad's side, she was really very concerned about, yeah, but when you're going to do theater or dance, they're all prostitutes. And of course, in her days, it was often like that, you know, <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And then the whole family, then I did art school and then I did some things. And yeah, I, I must say that is difficult because you're kind of, I was kind of, you know, spreading my wings, going to other layers other levels of life, meeting people from other backgrounds with richer parents, or middle class parents, people that already knew how to eat with a fork and a knife, you know, all that kind of thing. And, uh, and yeah, my family was a little bit like, where is she going? And why doesn't she does just stay with us and, and be normal and, and have a normal job and, and marry? Why isn't she married? Why doesn't she have a family? What is she doing? What is this art? She's not on the television. I don't see her in the publicity. And then, thank God, I got a little part in a movie. And that movie was sent on the television. And that really changed everything. 